All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got a new watch from Steinhardt. This is a limited edition uh, partnership between Gnomon Watches and Steinhardt. They put this watch out, and it's a really, really great piece. One of 200 being made in this particular specification. I want to thank Chris at Marshall Time for loaning this into the channel so I could take a look at it. So, guys, beautiful, beautiful watch. The Ocean 39 series, obviously in the 39 millimeter case size, which a lot of people are really excited about. I do have my 42 millimeter OVM down here, and we'll do a little size comparison of the two watches here towards the end of the video. But wanted to check this one out. So again, thanks to Chris for loaning it in. I do think that the bezel is up by one click there. So we'll go ahead and get it in there where it needs to be. Um, so great looking watch. Specs getting them out of the way. Obviously 39 millimeter case from side to side, slightly over 47 lug tip to lug tip. You have a 20 millimeter lug opening and it comes in at just over 14 millimeters of thickness to the top of this domed crystal. We'll talk about the crystal here in a minute. Now looking at the dial guys and the hand setup, obviously this is an homage to your, um, your Tudor sub style watches of the 1970s and 80s and whatnot, early 80s, but very, very beautifully done watch. This watch is really, really nice. I find it kind of interesting that the timing, um, this comes out very close to the timing of the release of the Black Bay 58 uh, with the blue dial and the blue bezel. So it's kind of interesting. Um, they come out very close at the same time. One of 200 pieces. Um, really, they're going to start making this one again, but they're not going to use this Hess light crystal. This has a a vintage style Hesselite crystal on it. All of the newer models after the first 200 that came out will have a domed sapphire crystal. I don't think those are available at the site yet, but they will start making them with a domed sapphire crystal. I do like the Hesselite. I think it's really neat. These are limited edition numbered on the case back. I think this one's like 142 of 200. We'll look at that here in a minute as we look more at the watch. But yeah, the dial is obviously classic vintage Tudor style, the snowflake hands. Um, so it looks really good. They are painted on indices, super luminova. And as you can see, they have this vintage style patina. Now it's probably going to turn off a lot of people, but I think it looks good. I'm a fan of the vintage patina. Um, this is running the ETA 2824 movement in it or the Salida SW200. That's what they're advertising on the site. As the ETAs uh, dry up, they will start going to the Salida SW200, which is a wonderful, wonderful movement. High beat movements at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Depending on which movement you have in here, you either have 25 or 26 joules um, ETA versus Salida. But again, wonderful movements depending on which one you get. The bezel is 120 click bezel. And like I've always had on these um, Steinhardt watches, very crisp, very easy to manipulate. And they, they are pretty stiff bezels, especially when you first get them to break them in. So great looking watch, solid link bracelet on this watch, screw links all the way across here. You have a nice combination of brushing and polishing on the safety clasp and the buckle assembly. Go ahead and open that up there. Nice polished uh, machine bars on here on the clasp, so done very well. And taking a look at the case back a little closer, you can see that 142 of 200 and all the other information you'd want to know about the movement and the, uh, the information on the watch there. So solid in links, of course. Um, beautiful case polishing. Steinhardt always does a really nice job on their case polishing. Bunch of fingerprints on it, but you can see the signed crown there. Brushing on the top of the lugs and, of course, polishing along the sides. So let's go ahead and uh, get this watch on my 7-inch wrist. Then I'm going to do a size comparison with the 42, and then we'll go out with that loom shot. All right, so I have a 7-inch wrist, so a 39-millimeter watch with this 47 lug to lug fits extremely well on my 7-inch wrist. Looks really, really nice. Really perfect size on my wrist, to be honest with you. 39, 40. I'm usually wearing a 40 these days. I do go up to a 42 quite often because I like the way they look on my wrist. But it really, really looks good. But this is a good opportunity to kind of do a size comparison. This is the 42 millimeter uh, Steinhardt OVM or the old vintage military. Go ahead and take this off and we'll kind of do a little comparison of the two watches here. Um, show you what we got. So, yeah, I mean, you can see, you know, depending on what you want for wrist presence or anything like that, the 42 millimeter is quite a bit bigger of a watch. You've got 50 lug tip to lug tip on these, um, you know, uh, 42 side to side. The thickness on this one is very similar. I think they both come in right around 14. Um, but, you know, there's a size comparison. That's the 42 versus the 39. So it's quite a bit bigger watch. Uh, very interesting. I actually, it's interesting. I've been wearing my uh, my 16600 Sea Dweller and so do a comparison to that. It, even the Sea Dweller in 40 millimeters to me looks quite a bit bigger uh, than the Steinhardt in the 39 millimeters. So kind of interesting there. But let's go ahead and kill the lights and let's check out the loom on this one. All right, so not all the light is out in the room. I got light coming in through the back window, but this will give you guys a good idea. I went ahead and threw the OVM next to it since they both have this 
old vintage style loom setup on them. Now the OVM is going to shine a light brighter probably because it has bigger loom plots, but it's also like eight years old. So now the, uh, they both glow really, really nicely, but there you go. Incredible, incredible loom actually on this watch. Um, I'm not sure how many layers of super lumen over there using, but it definitely, definitely looks good. So, all right, guys, this is the Ocean 39 Marine Blue Model Limited Edition. Uh, these are actually all sold out at the Gnomon website. I'll leave a link to the website down below, but you're not going to be able to find one of these models out there uh, at the moment. But they, like I said, they are going to bring out a version with a sapphire crystal on it, so that'll make the difference for you guys. So. The Hess light definitely, definitely has a good look to it, though, doesn't it? All right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.